Paul Dodson came early. He came to see the man accused of stealing his family's home get his day in a Dallas County court. It, it was sold. Um, it was lost. My father's home was uh, destroyed. Susan Bloyd was there for her late father. His home was taken with a forged property deed. So we lost it. That's why I came today to witness this. How you doing, Mr. Baldridge? William Baldridge is accused of stealing those two homes and 18 others using forged property deeds. Mr. Baldridge, you have anything to say? Mr. Baldridge. We first met Baldridge back in 2019. He didn't want to talk to us that time either. Would you please get out of my face? All rise. In court this past Friday, Baldridge was expected to plead guilty and be sentenced to 12 years in prison. At least, that's what everybody else thought, except apparently Baldridge. I had no idea I was walking into a plea agreement today or anything else. Now he's claiming he doesn't know that this was set for a plea. It was just complete also. The judge granted his request for a new attorney. As long as you understand the consequences of uh, your delay and uh, constant change of uh, counsel, the state is withdrawing the 12 year deal. Do you understand that? Yes. Mr. Baldridge, do you have anything to say? We tried again to talk to Baldridge. Yeah, I'll give you a real story. I'll give you a real story. What's the real story? Whatever the real story is, Baldridge chose not to tell us. Being able to see him walk off, somebody just roaming the streets like everybody else is very disappointing. And what'd you make of his claims that he didn't know about the plea deal? Uh, all lies. So now they wait for William Baldridge's next day in court. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.